In 2022, should people be held accountable for their own actions? Hi, we're asking, we're asking a question today. If a man was to kill or murder a lady that was pregnant with an unborn child, even if she was two weeks old, uh, two weeks pregnant, should he be charged with double murder or just the single murder? Double murder. Two people, even though it's just a fetus? A fetus is still a life. If a man murders a lady with an unborn child, should she should he be held accountable for double murder or just a one? Absolutely, yes. double murder. Double murder. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so if There's a woman two heartbeats. Two heartbeats. Yeah. So if a woman commits abortion, should she be held accountable for murder or should she just mm. be let off the hook? How far into the? <laughs> yeah. Is there a heartbeat? Well, I just you know just. How many weeks is she? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. It depends on how many weeks she is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. so okay, so that's what we want to know. So it depends on how many weeks, she, how many weeks. But if it's just like a day after pill, it don't count. No, so because the, the baby's not this not processed. Like, yeah, I mean, you should. I don't think you should have an abortion at six months, uh, right? And if you murder someone that's pregnant, they would have carried it to full term, right? Yeah. So they would have had. A child. It would have been that female's choice to keep to keep that pregnancy term. Right. Versus like she has no choice. Like I like it's like you having an abortion is you having your choice. Getting murdered, you get no choice. You right. have no choice. Oh. She didn't even get to decide. Yeah. Thank you. Right. How you doing today, sir? We got a question. We'd like to know if a man was to kill a pregnant woman, should he be held accountable for two murders or just one? I think two, man. For two. Yes, sir. So if a woman go commit abortion, should she be held accountable for murder or should she be let off the hook? She should be accountable for murder. Hey, man, we got a question. We'd like to know if a man was to murder a lady who's pregnant, should he be held responsible for double murder or just one? Two. Even though the child is unborn? Yes. So if a lady goes out and she commits or abortion, should she be held as accountable for murder or should she be off the hook? Oh, snap. See, you got me with, with the first one. <laughs> so, I mean, do we hold her accountable or we don't consider that murder? It depends. It depends? It depends. Hold on. Oh, snap. Hold on. All right. Can we want to know if a man murders a woman and she is pregnant with an unborn child, even though the child isn't born, should he be held with double murder for just a woman or both? Both, because you know, they a baby take time to grow, you know. So when like you know when when the female get pregnant, like it's a little sprout, you feel me? So that's a human being too. It just ain't get bigger yet. Okay. Ain't get big and strong like how we is now. So you know? when a woman goes commit abortion, should she be held accountable for murder, or we should just let her off the hook? Of course, she can be accountable for a murder. So Do abortion should be considered murder. Yeah, the abortion and murder because at the same time you still killing the human being. All right, so we asked him a question today. If a man was to kill a woman who was two weeks pregnant, she was excited, found out she was pregnant, should he be charged with double murder or just a single murder? Double murder. Double murder. Okay, and if a woman, she could miss an abortion, should she be charged with murder or should she be let off the hook? No, she should be charged with murder. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Today, today we're asking if a man wants to murder a woman that was maybe two weeks pregnant, should he be charged with double murder or just a single murder? Um, from a female's perspective, I would say no. And only because I'm considering both sides, even women that decide to get abortions that early. So are they to be charged with murder? Mm -hmm. Well, that is the second part of the question. If a woman kills her fetus, should she be charged with murder? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. That's as if I wouldn't charge him with murder. It's a, she he gets charged with murder for murdering her, yes, but we don't get charged for murder when we decide to abort our kids that, that early. So, why should he? How you doing today, ma'am? Just got a quick question. If a man was to murder a woman who found out that she was just two weeks pregnant, should he be charged with double murder or just a single murder? Um, I think with current legislation, depending on how far along she is, possibly you have grounds like legally to say, yeah, 
that's double murder, but I think single murder should be prosecuted to the fullest extent. So you said single murder or double murder? I think single murder is more realistic. Because she's only two weeks, he should just be, oh, yeah. he shouldn't be charged for the fetus. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, no. Okay. So just, yeah. Okay, which, because the second question was if a woman has an abortion, should she be charged with murder? No. Okay, well, thank you so much. Hi, I want to ask a question. If a man was to commit a murder and he was to co uh, kill a pregnant woman, should he be charged with double murder or just single murder? It depends on how far along the life stage of the fetus is because if it's something that can be donated to the bodies exhibit here in Atlantic Station, then he should be charged with more than one life. And personally, I think he should either be chemically castrated or given a choice of how he needs to be dealt with. So if she was like just maybe a week pregnant, should he be charged with double murder? She wouldn't be able to find out if she was only a week pregnant, so no. So also, but if she just found out she was pregnant, so she may be two weeks? So it takes, it takes two to four weeks. It depends on the fertility. It depends on a lot of things. So say I was pregnant and I didn't find out until after the dude had left me and everything and I had a missed miscarriage. I'm not gonna try and get after him for murder. I'm just gonna leave him be and just cut him out of my life. But if you just found out you were pregnant two weeks and you found out you were positively pregnant and God forbid, but if somebody was to commit a murder on a lady like that, should he be charged with double murder? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Because he's not taking just my life. He is taking a life that I am creating. And women are the closest thing to God on this earth, as in scripture, as in spirituality, naturalism, and all sorts of cultures. So if somebody takes my life and say, I'm pregnant with triplets, absolutely, he should be charged for every single life he just took. He or she, they, whoever, they should be charged. Amen. And so the second question, so if a woman uh, commits an abortion, should she be charged with murder? The woman has a right to choose what she does with her body, period. It doesn't matter if she was born female or not. Me personally, because of what I was born with, I've had, I have several rare diseases. My choice at this moment in time I'm not ready for kids. I'll have fur babies. I'll take care of my sugar babies, my models, my honeys, because that's what I want to do. I will be married to being a provider before I let anybody try to take care of me because ultimately I am responsible for me. And if I can help other people out and being married to a provider and oh, if I'll freeze my eggs, get my tubes tied, which is my plan right now, then I'll do that because I can also allow for stem cell research and things of that nature. I was born with something called MMIHS or muscular atrophy. I'm one of the oldest survivors. I found this out in 2019 and it gave me such a self-worth check. And I am one in 25.6 million people, even now to this day. And I want to fund as much research opportunities as I can. I want to grant opportunities to other mothers who can't have kids. So that's that's what I believe in doing. I'm a, I'm a Ravenclaw, secondary Gryffindor, but first and foremost, I am a child of God and I'm a prayer warrior with my home church, Christ Central in Dallas, Georgia, based out of Florida. And I'm back home in Atlantic Station. Y'all look up Lionheart Gaming Studio because he will help you relocate and he's looking for all kinds of digital content. And amen to Elon Musk for giving us Twitter back because we also got black Twitter now. We got Tesla. We taking over this town. And my baba, Dr. Baba Tolokum in South Carolina, my sister Vicky, Vicky Horde Abike is helping me out. Let's turn this into the Wakanda Eternal that it deserves to be. Yeah. Stupid ass men. My body, my motherfucking trucks. Yeah. I need everybody in the audience right now to say, My body, my motherfucking trucks. Yeah.